All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today we're answering a really common question about fig trees, which is, what if I don't prune my fig tree? I think that's a really fair question because I think there's just, for some reason, people think you have to prune trees every single year. Now, if you don't prune them, the idea is it's gonna just keep growing, right? It's gonna get bigger and bigger every single year. And people usually, I think, put that off. They don't really know what they're doing when it comes to pruning. And then it gets so bad one year that they're like, oh my God, what do I do? I have neglected this for the last three to five years. And now I don't know how to bring it back. I'm afraid to, is it okay if I bring it back? Um, so th these are all valid things I think that people worry about. But generally, fig trees really do not require pruning. So if you have, let's say, an, a maple or an oak in your yard, do you prune those? Well, you do if they're dying or if they have branches that need to be taken out for whatever reason, but generally you don't prune them. So if that's your vision and what you want for your fig tree, then of course you don't, you don't have to prune it. But if you wanted to maintain it at, a right, at the right size, like let's say six by six or 10 by 10 at most, then that's legitimate. And to me, that's what I want. I don't want a fig tree like this one here that's just too big. And if I let this tree go, which by the way, there's many fig trees here planted. There's probably that you can see in your vision, at least 10 fig trees. They're all two foot apart. Uh, but this one here in the center of the frame is probably approaching now 12 feet in height. And if I were to let this go next year, this tree would probably reach 15 feet. The year after that, we're probably looking at 20 feet. The year after that, it may even reach the top of the house. Um, so do you want a fig tree that big next to your house? Probably not. Some people do. Some people actually <laughs> would rather have a fig. I've heard many stories where they grow their fig trees as high as their upper story window so they can just open the window and harvest figs. So, you know, I think everybody's a little bit different, but generally what I want, and I think what a lot of you guys want in backyard settings such as this, we wanna have a tree that's maintained at the right height. So here's how you do it. It's pretty simple. We're gonna use mostly a saw, not pruning shears, to make our cuts. Because using pruning shears means we're gonna get really detailed here at the top. And we're gonna do something like, I don't know, let's say bring the tree back by a third or bring the tree back by 25 or 50%. That's not what you wanna do. If you have a chainsaw and you just draw a line across the top, or at least let's say chest height or waist height, and you bring it back to that level, the tree the following year is gonna grow seven to 10 feet in one season. So even though you took it really far back, it's gonna keep redoing this recycling process where it just wants to grow and grow and grow. And in a lot of situations, it may not fruit at all. Some people have that down, they have the right variety, they you know, have it in the right place. So you can get away with pruning them like that, especially if you do it during the summer, if that's when you choose to prune your tree. But for most of us, what we have to do is get a saw and come in here closer to the lower parts of the tree and cut it as low as possible. If our tree is really tall, like this, we can come in here to the center and trace the highest point of our tree all the way down as low as possible and make a cut right here. This will then keep this wood here, which if you trace that up, it'll still be a rather tall tree. There's some good branching there and good structure. But then we're keeping something like this, which will maintain some lower growth here towards the center of the tree that then reduces the height of this to now something down here. So this will be more productive. This will be removed and this can maintain its shape and productivity for one more year before then pruning it out the following year, which is when I will make a cut right here. This style of pruning is very simple. All we're doing is maintaining the hormones in our trees. I've talked a lot about this in the past because if we remove a third to a half of the growth, as I said, the trees are going to respond by growing a lot the following year. 
if let's say I want to remove this part of my tree because it's growing too much outwards this way, but I would like to keep this branch, then all I have to do is come in here with my saw or pruning shears and make a cut right here flush against the branch. That way I'm removing all of this growth here, but allowing this to remain. Uh, that will then, of course, stop the tree from growing so vigorously the next year. And if we take our pruning shears and top this branch like so, and just remove this growth tip, then what that's gonna do is encourage now that branch to then send out multiple branches from this point. And then it's gonna form a canopy around here rather than over here. Now, if you do this in the summer and you actually draw the line across the top and you have a long enough growing season, you can actually encourage another flush of growth to form another set of figs. And that may be a really great opportunity for you guys in these long climates like Southern California, or if you live in the tropics, to continually get your fig tree to produce more figs. But for everybody else that wanna contain the size, we're gonna be doing our pruning during dormancy. That's the fall, winter, or spring, whenever that is for you. When the trees have dropped their leaves, the sap has returned down into the roots, and then we're gonna make these cuts as low as possible and as few as possible because a fig tree doesn't have to be pruned. And the more we prune it, the less fruit we're gonna get, the more we're going to encourage it to grow. And uh, generally the happier we'll be, the less we prune it. So thanks for watching this one, guys. I hope you learned something. Hit the like button for me, hit the subscribe button for me. Check out my blog, figboss.com, for much more information on pruning fig trees. Take care.